All right, my previous lesson about Audacity, um, I had a little issue with latency. In fact, it was already corrected because of my old version of it. Um, but So here's Audacity and what it looks like. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click Generate, Click Track, and yeah, I'm going to let it be 120 beats per minute, 4 beats per measure, whatever. I'm just going to click OK. So now there's a Click Track there. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hit Play. Alright, now that I've hit stop, what you'll see is if I focus really closely in on the two tracks, you can see that there's a delay between this track and this track. And the reason that delay happens is because the computer has to take time to process that the sound actually hit the microphone, but then it processed it and actually put the data into the file. And that delay between reality and the time that it takes to process it is called latency. So I, I think if I play this we can illustrate what it sounds like. And I don't know if you could hear it on the video but it would go click 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 click. That little delay is that thing called latency. Now how do you figure out um, how to fix the latency is if you focus in really closely with the this uh, tool, um, the zoom tool, you can get real close from one beat to the other and then I'm going to pick the selection tool and I'm actually going to draw and select the section that starts at the first beat and starts at the second one and what it actually shows you is how many, mil if, now normally set it by end, we don't want to see end, we actually want to see the length of it and it says 185 milliseconds and actually you can put it in, right now it says plus milliseconds. Um, but the bottom line is, so I know that the time that it takes to process that sound wave to the actual data file when it's played in real time is approximately 185 milliseconds. So now what I have to do to fix that so that there's no latency is I know that that number is 185 because it's right here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then I am going to put in the negative value, the negative sign, and I'm going to put in 185 milliseconds. And I'm, and I'm going to hit OK. Now let's see if the latency was fixed. So I'm actually going to click back to the beginning of the track, and I'm going to focus back out uh, so we're not so close to these little milliseconds. And we're just going to hit record after we hit the back button. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I hit stop, they slid back. In fact, I'm going to focus back out just for a second so that you can see that effect. So I hit record. And notice there's kind of a delay. And I hit stop. And notice when it hit stop, that delay is taken away. And if I actually go back and I hit record, there's no more of that double click going on and that's what we need to happen is no double click you want the timing of one track to match the timing of the next track that you're recording so that it, it sounds correct because so much of what's important about music is is time if your timing is off so that's how you fix latency um, I hope uh, this was clear this time